What you're watching right now has not been sped up in any way. This is real-time stable diffusion, and it's all thanks to the brand new SDXL Turbo model that came out recently. This is a brand new model from Stability AI that's able to take text prompts and generate images in a single step in near real time. Don't be waiting around for 50 plus iterations or steps in order to see the magic happen. Now you can see it happening right as you type your prompt. And this is all thanks to the groundbreaking EDD technology. And no, I'm not talking about the type that allows you not paying attention in class. I'm talking about adversarial diffusion distillation technology. That's what allows you to get these sharp images in just a single step. But more importantly, how can you start playing around with this yourself? Well, you came to the right place. Let's jump right in and I'm gonna show you how to get this running on your own home PC. The first thing we need to do is download and install Comfy UI. Comfy UI is a node-based UI similar to Automatic 11.11 or Invoke AI. Over on their GitHub page, link in the description, we're going to jump down and we're going to take a look at the installing Comfy UI section. And the first thing you're going to need is some way to unzip this file. You can either use 7-zip or WinRAR. I personally use WinRAR. I've already got that installed on my computer. From there, we're going to go to the download link. And it's about a gig and a half for the file. So it's going to take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once the download finishes, head over to your downloads folder. Double click the file to extract it and just find a directory on one of your hard drives that you want to send it to. It doesn't really matter where you put it. In my case, I'm going to go with drive D and extract. Again, this will take a minute because this is quite a large file. While we're waiting for the files to extract, we're going to jump over to Hugging Face. Hugging Face is a place where you can download large language models, stable diffusion models, checkpoints, you name it. What we're going to do here is get the SDXL Turbo model. That's going to be the basis of what we run inside of Comfy UI. And you'll note here, it's a large download. It's 6.94 gigabytes. Go ahead and click on the download link to get that started. By now, Comfy UI should have finished extracting its files. So we're going to go over to our drive D. That's where I place the files. Go wherever you extracted them. We're going to click on Comfy UI Windows Portable. And right here, there's this readme file that says readme, very important. It's really not that important. What it tells you is if you have an NVIDIA GPU, run the run NVIDIA GPU batch file. Otherwise, use the run CPU batch file. Now, if you're running this just on a CPU, it's going to be very slow. So ideally, you'll have at least a 30 series NVIDIA video card, perhaps even a 40 series. I happen to have an RTX 3090, fantastic for stable diffusion because it has lots of VRAM. Go ahead and click on the run NVIDIA GPU batch file. This is gonna fire up a command prompt. It's gonna install everything that you need to get this fired up. Once everything finishes, you're gonna be taken straight to this UI at 127.001.8188 for the port. I'm gonna go ahead and close this for now. And what we're going to do is jump back. I'm gonna find and close that command prompt as well because what we need to do is we need to install one of the models that we just downloaded. So we'll go ahead and find that SDXL Turbo Safe Tensors file. We'll copy it from our downloads and we'll go over and we'll find our Comfy UI directory that was in drive D, go to Comfy UI, and then you'll go to the models directory and finally checkpoints. Paste your model in there and now we're ready to start. So go back to Comfy UI, run the batch file for NVIDIA once again, now, when we're in the UI, we can come over here to this load checkpoint. If you click in the middle here, you'll see the SDXL Turbo 1.0 FP16 Safe Tensors is one of the options. Go ahead and click on that. That's going to load our checkpoint file. This is what we need to actually generate the images. Now, the rest of this looks complex, but it really isn't. The cool thing about Comfy UI is that it's highly configurable. It's because of these nodes that you can sort of drag and drop around. So this is the checkpoint file. You can see over here, there's the SD Turbo Scheduler. This is the number of steps. So normally you would have a slider that you can configure in something like Automatic 11.11. Here you can just use these up and down arrows or you can click and type a value, whatever you want. We're gonna leave that at one. You can set your sampler as you would in any other program. And then you have your prompt and your negative prompt. Now, what we're going to do here is actually load a preset that I've already developed for you. And the crazy thing about Comfy UI is that you can load these preset workflows from an image file. So head on over to All Your Tech AI, link in the description. 
load this image, what it'll do is it'll set up everything you need to start using SDXL Turbo. Here's the image in question. I'm just gonna take it from my downloads, drag and drop it into the UI, and you can see that it changed a couple things. From there, all we have to do, sort of scroll out, we're gonna go to this queue. This is a key. Click on Extra Options and make sure Auto Queue is selected. And from there, click Queue Prompt, and you can see that it highlighted the load checkpoint in green. What it's doing right now is it's actually loading the SDXL Turbo model into your GPU's memory. We can actually see that happening behind the scenes. You can see I'm using about half of my GPU and the memory has gone up to about 9.3, 9.2 gigabytes of RAM. Now you can see it moving that green box down all of these different sections here. And that's because SDXL Turbo is ready to go. So what you can do is clear the text prompt and you can see you've got just sort of a base image here and you can start typing whatever you want. Dog running over a hill with a galaxy whirling around it. And go ahead and play with this. This is really cool because again, you can sort of render this in real time. It only takes about 0.2 seconds to generate each image on an RTX 3090. Now, if you do happen to want higher quality, you can increase the number of steps. That just means it'll take a little bit longer for each image to render. For this one, we'll say, goats inside of a bottle on a table in a cafe and that's pretty interesting <laughs> and you can see it's still even with three steps pretty fast to render now i wouldn't go too much above that but you get the idea as you can see we're just barely scratching the surface of what you could do with comfy ui and i haven't even really experimented too much with stable diffusion xl turbo but i wanted to share it with all of you because this is what the community is all about let me know what you end up creating down in the comments below. And if you'd like any more tutorials on Comfy UI or Stable Diffusion in general, otherwise hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you all so much. We'll catch you next time.